Praise the Lord, praise the Lord once again, my viewers, and shalom this wonderful morning. Thank you for tuning in to Commanding Your Morning, and today I am glad to be bringing you the Word of God. My names are Pastor Peter Cool from House of Grace, Nairobi West. Stay tuned for the Lord has a word for you. We are going to read the Word of God, so kindly come with me to the book of Psalms 46, verse 1 to verse number 4. And the Bible says, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, even though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though its waters roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with its swelling, there is a river whose streams shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacle of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her just as the break of dawn. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you. I bless you for this word this morning, that God, you're speaking to us, that you are our help. May you help somebody who is helpless. May you help somebody who is in a fix, that only you can help them, that only you can do it for them, O oh God. I give you praise and I bless you. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray and say a good amen for you are in for a blessing this morning. And so uh, my topic is God is our help. And this morning as it is dawning, I want to let you know that your help is on the way. That God is about to help you. That God will undertake for you. That God will uphold you with his righteous right hand and help you through this difficult time. Now the Bible says in the book of Psalms 46 where we've just read from verse 1 that God is our refuge. Number one, I want you to understand my friend, God is helping you as a refuge. Your God's help is from the place of refuge. Now what is refuge? Refuge is a state of being safe. Or, or sheltered from pursuit or danger or difficulties. Huh? God is your refuge. He safeguards you. He makes himself a shelter from pursuit of the enemy, from pursuit of uh, adversities and things that are supposed to destroy you. He becomes a refuge from every pursuit of the enemy. <laughs> He becomes a shelter where you can hide. He becomes a shelter where you can hide yourself and take refuge. Uh, 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 refuge is a place where he hides you from the pursuit of danger, from the pursuit of difficult situations. My viewer, there are things that can pursue you even when there is nobody is pursuing you. There are curses, there are difficulties, there are things their words, their voices that speak against your life from your great, great grandfather that are pursuing you in order to bring you down. Today you are up, tomorrow you are down. Today you have, tomorrow you don't have. There are things that are pursuing. There is an enemy that is pursuing your health. There is a sickness. There is a disease. There is something that is troubling your life. It's in pursuit, saying that you will not make it. There are best marks that the enemy has put for you saying that you will never cross this farm. You can only be a manager. You can only be a salesperson. You cannot write a book. You cannot uh, sing a song. You cannot even write a song. <coughs> That enemy is a liar. The Bible says that God is our refuge. Every hand that is pursuing you to bring you down like Pharaoh when he pursued the children of Israel after they were delivered from misery. And let me tell you, the enemy has a tendency. After you have come out with victory, he has a way of coming after you. He has a way of pursuing you after you have testified, after you have had a good song. 
song. But this morning I have good news for you that God is our help. God is our help. And he says he's our refuge. A place of being safe, a place of being sheltered, a place of being of feeling secure from the pursuit of the enemy. And the Bible says he is our refuge and our strength, that the Lord is our strength. He comes to help us in strengthening us. The Bible says, Jesus said to his disciples, I go to the Father, but I will help, send you a helper. I will not leave you as orphans. I will send you a helper. And when he comes, he shall give you power. I am sending you a helper to help you. Our God will strengthen you. To be strengthened is to be given the capacity to withstand great force, a uh, great force or pressure in the times of difficulties. The capacity to withstand great force or pressure in times of difficulties. Because many times the enemy has a tendency of attacking us when we are most weak. But the Bible says, in your weakness, the power of the Holy Ghost is made more manifest. The strength of God is manifested. And this morning, God is coming to help you in your weakness. May you be strengthened. In your failure, may God give you a second chance. Where you lost it, may God strengthen you to find it in the name of Jesus. It's the capacity to withstand great force. It doesn't matter what force you're facing this morning. It doesn't matter what challenges or difficulties or pressure you have have in life that is going to cause your blood pressure to go up or your sugar levels to go down. The God says that he will strengthen you. And this morning I prophesy to you, may God strengthen you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says, <coughs> That a horse is prepared for the day of, of battle, but victory belongs to the Lord. Our help comes from the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So number one, our help that is coming to you this morning is God is your refuge. Number two is God is your strength. Number three is help. The Bible says that God is our refuge. He is our strength and a very present help in times of need. I want you to know it is when it is most painful that God is very present uh, in your life. When you think you're alone, you're not alone. God is very, very present in your life. I want to give you a short story that is told uh, of this man who was in good times and he used to walk in the beach every morning and when he would walk there were four pairs of footprints behind him and so one pair of footprints was for Jesus and the other one was for him when everything was good he was singing a new song and testifying of the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living and the story is told that one day he fell into calamity he fell into adversity he was in pain and in anguish and in sorrow. And that morning when he walks on the beach as usual, he only saw two, foot, two footprints behind him. And the story says, he asked the Lord, why is it when things were okay, when things were good, when I was a, had a new song in my heart, a song of praise, why is it that we had we had four footprints and now it is only one. And the master looked at him and he said, the two footprints that you saw, they belong to me because I was carrying you. I could not allow you to walk because I saw the need for you to be carried. This morning, I want to tell you that your help is on the way and that you are not alone. God is your help. God will bring help. Help. Let me tell you what helping is all about. To help is to make it 
easier or possible for someone to do something by offering one service or resources. It's to make easy for you. This morning, I came with good news. I understand why David said, I will lift up my eyes to the hills. From whence comes my help? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and the earth. I want you to know that when your help comes, things will become easier for you. It will be easier for you to have a wonderful marriage. It will be easy for you to pray. It will be easy for you to make profit. It will be easy for you to fight and become victorious. Every load that you are carrying, it will become easy for you. For Jesus said, come to me, ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will make it easy for you. Hallelujah, somebody. Jesus says, my yoke is easy and my body and is lighter. Today your help is coming and things that were making you burdensome and heavy for you and you are having a heavy heart. You are having a heaviness uh, in your life. This morning your help is coming and God will make it easy for you. It shall be easy for you to arise. It shall be easy for you to prosper. It shall be easy for you to progress. <coughs> It shall be easy for you to advance in life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Help is on the way. And so when God is your refuge and God is your strength and God is your help, he says, in, uh, he says I shall not fear. In verse 2 he says, therefore we lie not fear fear. Because God is your help, you have no reason to fear. This word fear not is repeated in the Bible for more than 300 times just to give you every day a dose of telling you fear not, fear not. So the Bible says, so I shall not fear. The psalmist writes and says, because God is your refuge and your strength and your help, you need not to fear. For the Bible says in Psalms 41 and verse 10, Fear thou not, for I am with thee. You need not to fear, for God is with you. Be not dismayed, for I, I am thy God. I will strengthen you. Yeah, I will help you. Yeah, I will uphold you with the right hand of my righteousness. This morning, I want you to know, as you go outside to face this world, to face the things in the world, I want you to know that your help is is in the Lord. Hold on. Hold fast. Keep on believing. Keep on trusting God because your help is on the way. And this morning I pray that heaven will answer to you and help you in the mighty name of Jesus. Now I want to pray for you that God will send his help in the midst of the fire. May you see the fourth man in the midst of death, in the midst of pain, at the point and the, at the verge of giving up. Up. May God send his help. And now in the name of Jesus, I pray for every viewer, O God Almighty, who is watching this broadcast on KTN, command your morning. And even after this, whoever shall watch, uh, I pray for the hand of God. I pray that God, you shall send them help from Zion. Send your strength. Send your Holy Spirit. Send your, angel send your angelic provision that people shall receive help from angels. Whatever situation it is. God, I pray, may you send help. May you be a refuge. May you strengthen them and may you help them that they may not fear. I pray that every viewer shall, who was afraid from now, fear comes out of their lives and they shall trust. And they shall trust you and know that you only can help them. Father, I thank you and I bless you. In Jesus' name we pray. I believe that God has spoken to you and that your help is on the way. Do not give up on God. Trust in the Lord for your help is here. Shalom, shalom. God bless you. See you next time and stay tuned. God bless you. Shalom. Amen. Amen.